Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. And today I am gonna be trying different aesthetics from TikTok. Now I did a whole bunch of research for this video. Honestly, I may have gotten a little carried away, <laughs> but after all my research, I took my findings and put together a mood board for each aesthetics vibe. And then I tried to create an outfit that would match that. We did a little photo shoot to see, can I pull this aesthetic off? How do I look? How do I feel? And maybe even discover a whole new style for myself along the way, we'll see. <laughs> but before we get into this video, I wanna give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and then automatically test them when you're checking out. Basically your online shopping best friend. It's really easy to use. You just get Honey on your computer for free with two easy clicks. And then when you're checking out on any one of its 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons for that site. And if Honey finds a working promo code, you'll just watch the prices drop. I use Honey every time that I'm shopping online. I actually found out about them through another YouTuber sponsorship. And over the years, they have saved me so much money. Even just shopping for this video of trying to find some new pieces for our aesthetic outfits. Honey saved me $10 on Madewell and $33.99 on Fashion Nova. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free. It'll work with whatever browser extension you use. So you can get Honey for free by going to joinhoney.com slash Sierra. That's joinhoney.com slash Sierra. So they know I sent you. So thank you, Honey, for sponsoring. Now let's get in to our first aesthetic, the soft girl. So I watched a whole bunch of TikToks showing the soft girl aesthetic. And this aesthetic really focuses on super feminine cutesy pieces, lots of pastel colors, floral prints, and I saw some plaid too. And I saw a lot of sweaters, mini skirts, and short dresses all over soft girl TikTok. But I wanted to make sure that I was on the right track with this aesthetic before I tried to put together an outfit of my own. So I asked you guys on Instagram to help me out and I took your opinion into account with this poll. And then some of you even sent me inspiration photos of your own, of what you think embodies the aesthetic, which was so freaking helpful. Thank you so much. If any of you guys wanna be involved in future videos like this, be sure to just follow me on Instagram. It's at Schultze. So then I took a combination of screenshots from the TikToks that I watched and the inspiration photos that you guys sent me in DMs and I made a mood board. So here is our soft girl mood board. I feel like this gives me a pretty solid vibe of what we're going for, a good grasp on what it truly means to be a soft girl. So it's time to try it for myself. Here we go. Okay, so my soft girl look, let's put it together. Finding clothes for all these different aesthetic outfits that came in plus sizes was incredibly difficult. I found that most of the popular brands that tend to carry these, you know, trendy aesthetic looks don't usually offer plus sizes. So I had to do quite a bit of online digging and then I had another added layer of difficulty and that uh, if you didn't know, I'm currently six months pregnant. So also trying to accommodate for the bump in the sizing and maternity brands do not offer pieces like this. So I, I had to work with what I could find. So anyways, soft girl outfit. First thing I got is this little white floral mini skirt from Nordstrom. I feel like this floral pattern and the light blue color of the flowers was really similar to a lot of pieces on the mood board. So I got this in a 3X and I'm hoping we can make it work with the baby bump and all. Then I got this blue cardigan from Fashion Nova, also in a 3X. To me, this style seems to be like the pinnacle of the soft girl aesthetic. And then I also got this little white mini baguette from Amazon, just a little shoulder bag moment. Feels very like early 2000s to me. So I'll link all the items that I bought in the description if you wanna shop. And then for my own closet, I'm thinking I'll pull some simple jewelry, some shoes, and then a white tank top to layer under the cardigan. Okay, you guys, here it is, the soft girl outfit. Honestly, now that I have it all on, I feel like I got this aesthetic down. I feel like this outfit is pretty much like the mood board to a T. Like I feel like I did a pretty good job with the outfit. I also tried to do my hair and makeup in kind of like a similar soft girl-ish way. I put on some powder and blush and mascara and then like a light pink nude lip. And for my hair, I actually switched to a middle part and did these little like half up pigtails. And I think it's pretty cute, but the one problem I am having is my hair is not used to a middle part. And so this little piece of bang 
here wants to fall in front of my face because it's used to going that way. I added some water to it. Hopefully it can chill out before we take the photo. Then I did this simple silver necklace and some little silver hoops. This sweater fits really well and I think it matches the skirt great. The skirt is a little bit loose, but I'm just gonna pin it in the back and I think it'll be fine. And of course we have our mini bag and for shoes, I went with these little white slip on sneakers. I feel like the outfit looks pretty cute, but it definitely is, it definitely is like a solid choice, like a very specific aesthetic. So much so that I almost feel, I almost feel like I'm wearing a costume, <laughs> like a cute costume, but it feels, it feels a little bit costumey to me. So we're gonna go take our photo in this look. I'm gonna try and channel my inner soft girl, fully embrace the aesthetic. And I think the outfit definitely fits what I was going for. So let's, let's hit some sort of cute mural or something to take this picture. So here are my soft girl photos. I think they came out pretty cute. The outfit definitely worked well and I really love the colors, but I feel like I look a little stiff and a little bit awkward in a lot of them. And I think one of the reasons for that is that I just wasn't comfortable in this outfit. It felt a little bit too girly for me. It sort of felt like when you're 12 and your mom picks out an outfit for you and it's very much not your style, but you try it on just to humor her. And within like five seconds, you're like, mom, can I please change back into my jeans now? This is not me. But then also the other reason I might've looked kind of stiff and awkward is we were taking this photo on a street where a lot of cars were driving by and I kept getting catcalled, which was not fun. So maybe a little bit of both, but overall, I do think the photos are cute. I just don't think this aesthetic is really for me. So I'm going to give it a six out of 10. It was fun to try and I really like the colors, but just a little too cutesy for me. Next up is streetwear. And I am not going to lie. I am incredibly intimidated by this aesthetic. It feels very LA to me, like that kind of effortless. I'm, I'm not trying to be cool, I just am. Which is pretty much the opposite of me. I try very hard and I'm very much not cool. But there's a lot of sweatpants, cargo pants, some jeans, but they're always more baggy. Mostly solid colors, a lot of black, white, and beige. And I saw a lot of sneakers, definitely a big emphasis on sneakers with streetwear. Also saw a lot of thick chain jewelry and bucket hats. On Instagram, you guys sent me some great streetwear inspiration photos and multiple people said to just check out Alicia Marie's Instagram feed for streetwear inspo. So I added a couple of her photos to our mood board as well. And here's what we got. I really am going to try my best, but man, I, I'm going to have to try so hard to look like I'm not trying hard. <laughs> I decided to straighten my hair for today's look because I figure it's different, it's sleek, it fits the streetwear vibe. I was actually able to track down what I'm pretty sure is the exact like crop turtleneck arm warmer thing. I don't know what the heck to call it. This thing from the inspiration photo on the mood board. Here's what it looks like in person. It's from Zara, one size and definitely unique. I was thinking either cargo pants or sweats for bottoms and sweats just seemed a little bit too safe for me. So I got these cargo pants from Fashion Nova in a 3X and here they are. Hopefully, hopefully they fit. They look smaller than I expect for a 3X. I'm gonna pull either a sports bra or a crop tank from my closet to wear with this. And then I'll add some fun jewelry. I also have my own sneakers that'll work. It's gonna be a look. Oh, wait, I forgot what one potential thing. I'm not sure about this one. I bought a bucket hat from Nordstrom, but it's kind of like a, like a white gray tie dye. So I'm not sure if it's going to clash with the rest of the outfit. I am not a bucket hat person. When this trend like popped back up again, I've just, I just kind of watched from the sidelines, let other people enjoy the bucket hats, but I don't think it's for me. So uh, we'll at least try it. So let's go ahead and put this outfit on. I'm, I'm excited. Okay. I am nothing if not committed to these aesthetics because this actually, I think it actually looks like a, a streetwear look. I could totally see some cool ass LA person posting an Instagram photo in an outfit like this. Like, I still don't think I pull it off, but I think the out the outfit itself, it's kind of streetwear-y. Steven said I look like a Pokemon trainer. Honestly, I feel like that's very accurate. Like if TikTokers were a freaking Pokemon gym, this would be the gym leader's uniform. But like, I can't believe I'm wearing this. <laughs> 
Okay, so the bucket hat, even though it's like a different color than the turtleneck arm thing, I think the bucket hat really is what makes it come together and feel so streetwear to me. Then we have our turtleneck crop thing, which is making me very sweaty. I have this little chain necklace and then, oh, do you see this? Do you see this? I put on eyeliner for the first time in like 10 months. I did eyeliner, powder, some highlight, which hopefully will kind of pop and sparkle in the sun. Eyebrow gel, mascara, and then like kind of a warm nude lip. This little crop tank top, and then the Fashion Nova pants, which are actually fitting the baby bump, which is surprising. And then for shoes, I just did crew socks and my Nikes. So I definitely feel street wary. Like I feel like I'm fully in the aesthetic. Hopefully I can just channel a little bit of that like cool badassness into my posing because that is definitely not my usual forte, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> let's go photo shoot. Let's, let's channel my inner streetwear baddie. Or honestly, just my inner like cool TikTok Pokemon gym leader, that, that works too. <laughs> Why do I low key feel like I pulled this one off? <laughs> Honestly, going into this video, I expected this aesthetic to be my least favorite, but I kinda love it. The cargo pants were incredibly comfortable. I think straightening my hair definitely helped awaken the inner baddie in me somehow. And I even, I'll say it, I even liked the bucket hat. <laughs> Keeping my face and my poses more serious and aloof was a little bit hard for me at first, but I do think we got some really cool shots and they definitely fit the streetwear aesthetic from our mood board. I feel like some of these photos could fit onto this mood board and not stand out. Now, I don't think I'm gonna start dressing like this on the daily. I'm not about to become streetwear baddie Sierra, but maybe maybe I will throw a more streetwear-esque look in there sometimes just for a little spice because I had a lot of fun with this. I felt surprising cool, nine out of 10. <laughs> Dark Academia, this aesthetic to me really boils down to like, what would I wear to go visit an old English library in the fall with many leather bound books and it's rainy and foggy outside, but the library is lit by this very warm candlelight in a fireplace and I'm very into it. I love it, I wanna try it. So I took the screenshots from these Dark Academia TikToks and your inspiration photos for Instagram and here's what our mood board looks like. There's lots of browns and beiges, a lot of plaid. It seems like the two options are pretty much either a plaid skirt or plaid trousers, collared shirts, sweaters. This aesthetic seems pretty straightforward, so I feel ready. Let's try it. So I wanted to do a skirt for the dark academia look. You know, something like shorter, brown, plaid. And I found one on Torrid that looked pretty on brand. So I got it in a 2X. And I also bought a brown sweater from Madewell to pair with it in an extra large. I have a set of those like fake collars for layering. So it looks like you're wearing a collared shirt under something, but it's actually just like a little, I think it's called a dicky. So I'm gonna wear one of those under the sweater for a very academic look. And I'm thinking I'll tie my hair back with with some sort of ribbon. And then I, I still need to figure out what shoes I wanna pair with it. But I'm thinking for the photo at least, we'll pretty much focus on like knees up because we're just gonna be taking it in front of my bookshelf in my house, which is a tighter area. So I think it'll be hard to get like a full body look without having just a bunch of blank wall space next to me. But I do still wanna put together a full outfit regardless. So maybe I'll just do some like brown booties or something. All right, you guys, here is my outfit, my dark academia look. I feel like it's pretty cute. I feel like it's cohesive. It works together well. But here's the thing. I feel like dark academia is a very season specific aesthetic. Like this outfit feels very fall to me. What does dark academia look like for spring and for summer? But regardless, let me walk you through the look. So I left out these two front pieces to frame my face, but I pulled back like the whole top layer of my hair and I used this cute little hair bow with it. I put on a little bit of makeup, but I feel like makeup doesn't really matter too much with this aesthetic. I have these simple gold hoops, a little gold necklace, the dick 
Nike that I had talked about earlier, which works perfectly with this. The Madewell sweater, which I tucked in, but kind of like pulled out a little bit so it looked more relaxed. The Torrid skirt, which has pockets. We love pockets. It's a little bit longer than I think a lot of the Dark Academia skirts on the mood board. But like I said, plus size options were very limited. So I feel like all things considered, the skirt is great. And then I put on little brown booties and that is the look. Let's go take our photo. And here are the dark academia photos. Let's take a look. The outfit feels very simple, but classic. And I think it worked pretty well with the background. I also tried to match the vibe by editing these photos a little bit more moody and dark than I usually do. I think my favorite photos though are the behind the back shots. Aside from the fact that they intensely demonstrate just how badly I needed a haircut, which I have since gotten. So the dead ends in that photo are now gone, goodbye. But regardless, I really like those photos and I feel like they, they do a great job of fitting the dark academia aesthetic. I did feel a little bit frumpy in the outfit. I don't think I like exuded confidence in this one. I think the sweater and skirt combo kind of hid my body a little bit, but overall I did really like the aesthetic and I would totally dress like this again, especially in the fall. Also, sorry the skirt is so wrinkled. I did not notice how wrinkled it was until I went back to edit the photos and it seriously needed to be ironed. So hopefully it's not too distracting, but this dark academia look gets an eight out of 10 from me. It was really fun and collared shirts like this just make me feel all professional. Our fourth aesthetic, the granola girl, which honestly I think is more of a lifestyle than an aesthetic even. But somehow I found myself on granola girl TikTok and the vibe, the vibes are immaculate. Very outdoorsy, earthy, natural. Think like you're going camping, but with your very trendy blogger friend who also wants to take Instagram photos. I got a lot of help with this one from you guys on Instagram, both with inspiration photos and just advice from the granola girl viewers. So here is our mood board, lots of earthy tones, greens and browns. There's some fun prints and plaids mixed in there too. Lots of overalls, flannels, beanies, bandanas. I'm excited. So I only ordered one thing for this outfit online and everything else I'm pulling from my closet, which I guess should be the first indication that the granola girl aesthetic is probably the closest to my own personal style. But I ordered this cute little bandana online from Madewell. I saw that in a lot of the granola girl outfits, there was either a beanie or a bandana. So I decided to go bandana. And I think this one is gonna complement the rest of the outfit and kind of tie it together really well. And then I had actually just bought these green overalls in last week's video, if you saw that. I had a lot of greens and natural colors in the mood board and also a good couple pairs of overalls. So I thought these would work well. And then I need to decide on a shirt for underneath. I actually pulled four options here. I'm counting the shirt that I'm wearing as one. So I'm gonna try the overalls on with all of these, decide which one I think is the most granola and works with the outfit best. And then for shoes, we're gonna do Birkenstocks. All right, so here is option one, option two, ooh, option three, and option four also feels pretty granola. All right, to me, the two real contenders are number four and then number three, the tie-dye one. I looked at them side by side and I think I'm gonna go with number three, the tie-dye. It kind of ties in more of the granola aspect I think. So I'm gonna put on the bandana, the Burks, and we'll see the final look. All right, here it is my granola girl outfit from head to toe. I feel so freaking cute and comfy and I feel, I feel like myself still. Maybe a little bit of a, a crunchier version of myself, but still Sierra. I love the tie dye. I love the overalls. I love the Burks. Messy second day hair and a bandana as a headband. That is right up my alley. Maybe I need to just fully embrace the crunch and become a granola girl because this, this is fantastic. I, I'm a big fan. <laughs> For this outfit and this photo, we're actually making a little day out of it, driving out to Joshua Tree to do some hiking, have a picnic, and of course, take our granola girl Girl aesthetic photo. We're also vlogging today over on our second channel, Sierra and Steven IRL. So if you want to check that out, I will put a link in the description, but let's go. <laughs>
And here are my granola girl photos. I tried not to post too much because all the photos on the mood board were just very candid and natural. So I just kind of smiled and looked around, stood next to the Joshua trees. But my favorite photos are actually the true candid ones that I didn't even plan to be part of this video. Like they weren't part of the shoot. But before we did our photo shoot, we were just having a, a little picnic and I was laying on the ground, just happy. And Steven snapped literally just three photos of me. And they were just supposed to be for us and for our scrapbook, but they ended up being my favorite photos from the day, which I think is, that's kind of what a true granola girl aesthetic photo should be. It fits. I love this outfit. I felt very comfortable, but still really cute. And my hair was kind of messy. It was just my second day curls kind of put up into a sloppy half pony. And I didn't have any makeup on, which is my everyday look anyways. So it felt, it felt true to the aesthetic, but it also felt more like me than I think any of the other ones did. I will say, I think I could have improved this look by adding a bunch of handmade bracelets just like stacked all the way up my wrist. So I'll give my granola girl look a nine out of 10. I am very much here for this aesthetic. Which look was your favorite? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. And remember to follow my Instagram to be part of future videos like this. It's at Schultzy. And check out our vlog channel, Sierra and Steven IRL for more behind the scenes stuff, real life, pregnancy. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you next time. Bye.